Now, Mzansi, you know here on Afternoon Express, we also love to give you nice home tips, tricks and hacks that you can try. And our very next segment is doing exactly that. So if you have a bunch of tin cans lying around and are keen on upcycling them, then you are in the right place. Because Kimberly Miller is here to show us how to turn your old tin cans into beautiful candles step by step. Kimberly, welcome back to the show. Now, Thank where do you. we begin? <laughs> okay, so you start by melting your wax. I've done it here. You start it on a very slow temperature. Mm. Wax is very sensitive, so it doesn't want it to be too hot too quickly. So very slow up until, let's say, 80 degrees. So you do need to pay attention to the temperature, the temperature. as well. That's very important. Then you can take it off. Now, Kimberly, before we do take it off, I just want to find out from mm. you, what is the difference between soy wax and paraffin wax? So paraffin wax is made out of petrol. Mm. And soy wax is obviously made out of the soybeans. And that's why I think a lot of people who are living a more green lifestyle are moving more towards okay. the soy um, wax because it does give a cleaner burn. Yeah. Um, is this what you're using here? Is this correct. What it yes, is? yes. Oh, that's oh is that soy wax? Yes. yes. Stunning. So, you know, sometimes when you do burn candles, I'm already paying attention to yours. They, there's no black kind of smoke mm. in the air. Is that made from paraffin wax? Correct, yes. Ah. So it's actually some soy um, wax candles can do that. It's called a suit where it's like a black yes. kind of thing. So I think that's why you also need to do a lot of testing and you can't mm. just, you know, go out and make candles. You do need to test all the different Beforehand. Kinds. Yes. Right. So <laughs> once we have heated up our, our wax. <laughs> so once you have heated out, uh, up the wax, you can take it off the heat. Okay. Okay. And this is obviously just normal candle wax. It's not like the wax for the crayons. It's all oh, yeah. <laughs> that work. <laughs> it's definitely not crayon wax. Um, you can keep an eye on the temperature. So now we had a good temperature to put our fragrance oils in, um, where we are at a. So you can measure it between about 65 to okay. 60 mm. degrees. 6.3. Yeah, now. that's okay. perfectly fine. So you can just dash that in. Um, you don't want to put too much. You also don't want to put too little. So again, you can do some testing on how much Ooh, percentage of wax incredible. do you want and how much fragrance oils mm. um, that you want to put in. So right now you've decided to go for a fragrance oil and wow, this smells incredible. Is this like a lavender? So it's a, it's called lotus flower. It's a mm. mixture of some citrus and some seagrass um, Flavors. Flavors. Yes. And I mean, if we don't go for a fragranced oil, can we go for maybe an essential oil? So a lot of people shy away from the essential oils because they firstly, they burn very quickly oh, and also okay. they're very expensive. Okay. Yeah. Whereas fragrance oils, they smell the same and they do do the job. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how one looks like when um, we pour. So. We and what kind of wick did you decide to go so for So this here? is a wooden wick. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why I love these wicks, because they replicate um, a campfire. So when you yeah. light it, it, it crackles um, like a campfire. So it is actually quite Beautiful. nice. And, and we actually... It looks nice. Yeah, <laughs> we can actually see the difference here between yeah. just the normal string kind of wick. Mm -hmm. is, yes. is that the right terminology? Yes. So that's a cotton wick. Cotton wick, yes. yes. And then right in the front there, you can see our upcycled tin using the wooden wick. Yes. Now, when it comes to grounding that wooden wick into the can, how do we do that? How so, does it not fall over? Yes. So I put a glue dot um, because it's not flammable. It's important that you don't put something like um, um, glue at the bottom. Like a super it, glue. Yes, because if it is flammable, your candle might explode at some point. So you just used a, a glue dot. So a it's glue a dot. little plastic sticky dot that you just okay. put at the bottom of the of the wick. So this is how your candle would look dry. Once it's dry. How long does it take to get dry like that? So a few hours, but you should cure your candle for about seven days. You can see, so a lot of people use paraffin wicks because it has a smoother finish. Mm. So now you can see the soy wax has crystallized and almost created like a frosting at the yeah, top. Yeah, there's a lot of texture there. Yes, yeah, so that is why we use our little um, heat gun, which Tumi is going oh. to... Tumi, please demonstrate quickly <laughs> okay, for us, my love. <laughs> so, so this is just essentially the it. top. Yes. Ah. Oh, that, that is how you and that's how you get the clean finish ensuring that there is no frosting effect here on our yes, candles and just like it. that if 
like we were to. I don't know if I'm asking for too much, take it out of the tin. Or do we want the tin to kind of be that beautiful container that you can also just add your own decoration to? Yes. So I wouldn't suggest taking the actual candle out of here if it's already set in mm. there. Okay. Um, what's nice is you can also heat gun the top and put little wax decorations at the top. Beautiful. Which is also quite nice. And make it something special, <laughs> make it something your own, make it personal. I definitely am going to try this. And mom, who knows, you might be getting yourself a candle. <laughs> This Mother's Day. Now there you have it. Use your empty tins to make gorgeous candles. See you in a bit.